These tips will impress everyone you work with. Tip number one, rasterize everything you don't need to animate. And what I mean by that is that we have all of these different groups inside of this Figma file. And the only thing that I wanna animate right now is this little cart icon. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take everything else, group it together, and we're gonna rasterize that layer. Now, when I send it all to After Effects, you can see that everything else is in this one PNG, and that's fine because I don't need to animate it. It's all gonna stay static the entire time. And what I want to animate is this little guy right here. And so we can see that we have the numbers, we have the background, we have everything here separated into live layers for us to animate. And what this really helps is to clean up our layers. And so all of those background elements that we don't need to animate are contained all in this one single PNG. And then all of the things that we actually are going to animate are now available. And now instead of having 20 or 30 layers, we only have a few and they're just the things that we want to animate. All right, tip number two, using current comp versus new comp. So usually when you start an initial import, you want to use new comp. But then everything after that, if we're working on the same project, we want to use current comp. And the way that that differs, if we go into Figma and say we want to add a new element to this thing and say it's this like weird little circle thing that's green and it's going to pop up at some point for our, our app. If I select this and hit send selection to After Effects, what's going to happen is that it's actually adding it to this current comp. If I have new comp selected and I send the selection, we can see it's gonna make our project super messy because it's adding this second composition. And in that composition, all that's there is this one layer. And that's not necessary because we want this thing to be in our initial composition. Using this setting current comp, everything will always be imported into your current comp where you're working and things will be much cleaner and you'll be working much more efficiently. Tip number three is how to fix these text alignment issues. You may have noticed when we imported this cart that this number one is not where it is in the Figma. You can see that it's perfectly centered here and in After Effects, it is not perfectly centered and it looks like garbage. How do we fix that? So one way is to just come in here in After Effects and just move things down until they kind of look optically aligned and you're happy with it. The other way is that we can actually fix it before we import it. The way that we do that is we need to select this specific text layer. We go down to the overflow menu for the text settings, and we actually change this vertical trim from here to here. And what this does is it creates a text bounding box that is more similar to what After Effects uses, and therefore things will be imported correctly. So if we change it to there, and let's actually go back into After Effects, and we'll delete our ellipse send selection to After Effects. And you can see now it is perfectly and beautifully centered. So let's go over here and I'll explain what's happening with the text alignment. This has the default text properties applied and you can see how when we apply a auto layout background frame to this, how it wraps everything. When we go down here, you can see that the ascenders and descenders are not actually fully covered by that background. And this is more similarly to how After Effects treats text bounding boxes. And you can see here we have the same exact piece of text with those two different properties applied. And so let's go ahead and import this into After Effects. So we can see in here that when we import the two, the identical pieces of text that are aligned slightly differently, you can see that they import slightly offset from each other. And when we have this vertical trim setting changed, it actually imports more correctly to match what we have here inside of Figma. So if you have a lot of different text layers in your design that you're importing into After Effects as live text layers, then definitely go through this process, change those vertical trim settings so that you then don't need to edit them when you're in After Effects. I know I said I only had three tips, but here's a fourth bonus tip for you. Make sure you subscribe for more Motion UX workflow tips and tricks. Catch y'all next time.